Hey guys, it's me, Maple, of course, of course, and in this video, I'm just going to talk for a bit, no expectations for how long or short this video is going to be, or if it's actually going to be ASMR. I just wanted to record this because I am, I've just gone through so much lately. The last time I recorded a video was like two months ago. I've tried a couple times since then, but I've just not had the time, let alone the energy. Um, let's see here. I remember the last couple times I tried this a while ago, it kept changing the settings. Where is the video settings? It kept changing the, the render distance. Why is it maxing it out by default? 20. That's not it. That's not too bad. Let's do a 25. There we go. Anyways, I... Whew, where do I even begin? Around the time I stopped recording was when I suddenly had to go and rescue Chris. And since then, it has been... Uh, unrelenting in terms of being busy and just everything that's been going on. We spent a while looking at places, um, whether it be a condo, a house, uh, or to rent. Eventually, it just became obvious that our only choice was to rent. Um, the only real choice. Although, oh, I'll, I'll get to that eventually. Um, we're going to be renting not too far away. It's going to make commuting a little interesting, but it's already been pretty interesting lately. Um, trying to figure out how everyone's going to get to work every day, who's taking who, etc. has just been exhausting. Thankfully, today was a short day at work. I got out of work 12 hours ago. It is now exactly 12 a.m. And I've done a decent amount today. Not too much, but a decent amount. Um, really, I haven't done that much, but I cooked a nice dinner that unfortunately only I really ate because... Chris and Sophie went to a nice little diner called Shaben this morning and had a good breakfast. I highly recommend them if you're in the area, Connecticut. Uh, they're in Manchester. Really good. It's called, it's, it's pronounced Shaben, I think. It's spelled Chesben. Uh, it's a Canadian French restaurant, a diner. Uh, it's, it's very nice. Anyways. Um, they, they loaded up on poutine this morning, and, uh, uh, they were not hungry for the rest of the day, which happens after eating that much food. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let's see here, what else was there? There's, there's been a lot. I'm looking at getting another job at some point, because I am not a fan of my current job and the management and all of that. Um, recently felt like I have a calling towards the culinary arts. I've always felt that way, just I hate. I've been in a restaurant before, worked in a restaurant, and didn't last long, and it was very stressful and not enjoyable in the slightest. I am a very quiet, chill, and mellow person. Unfortunately, a restaurant environment does not go well with that kind of personality. Um, so I have to figure out something else if I want to get into the culinary field. But I think I could maybe find an outlet on YouTube. 
Speaking of which, I will actually have the opportunity to do things like that now, as in a week from now, on April 20th, 420, we're going to be moving out. We are currently in the process of packing up and everything, but thankfully, a co-worker of mine had a friend who was trying to get rid of their apartment, trying to give the lease away to someone. Um, not give it away, but to pass the lease on because they found a better place that's more affordable for just them. Complicated situation, but they had a roommate and they um, respectfully uh, went separate ways and uh, one of them was stuck with the apartment. So it was just cheaper to find a one bedroom for them. And that also got us a pretty good deal on a decent location. Um, I'm going to have to get used to going to the laundromat. Um, I've been spoiled in the sense that I've not had to do that um, outside of a couple times in my life. But now it's going to be a, re a weekly thing. Uh, thankfully, it won't be too expensive. Not as expensive as a washer and dryer. But it'll be temporary. The lease ends uh, October 31st on Halloween. Um, and then we're going to have to see where we're going from there. I have another coworker, an older lady, who um, is looking to get rid of her house. And depending on how much we can save up between now and then, we might end up getting a place. But. It depends on how much it is, the kind of loan that we can get, and if we really want to stay in Connecticut, because I really don't. Uh, no offense, well, okay, full offense to anyone who likes New England, it sucks here. Like, in all honesty, New England is garbage. It has its, it has its moments in the fall. It is beautiful, and the weather's nice. That's about it. Uh, the winters are irredeemable. The spring is kind of nice. I'll, I'll admit that. The spring is kind of nice. And it's nice to get rain on occasion, but not every day. <laughs> I like to see the sun, uh, especially being from California, where it was sunny all the time. God, I miss it. And every single day that passes, I miss it more. And um, I just, I don't want to be in New England for longer than I have to. And I plan on moving back out west one day. Uh, if not out west, somewhere else that's more sunny and warm uh, for longer periods of the year uh, than just a few months. And hopefully when I say warm, not drowning in humidity like Connecticut in the summer um, enough uh, shitting on Connecticut I mean it could be worse it could be Massachusetts or New Hampshire um, but it could be Vermont which you know god damn it why couldn't Sophie live in Vermont instead that would have made things far more enjoyable um, maybe not in the winter, but in every other scenario, situation, it would have been much nicer. Then I would have been a lot closer to a lesbian couple that has connections that could have gotten me a much better job. Um, completely random and out of nowhere, but still. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just wandering around collecting berries. Um, rambling. That's pretty much what I use this YouTube channel for. If you're new here, I apologize. I don't know why you're still watching. But this is pretty much what my YouTube channel is for. It's for me to ramble. It's a little vlog. And you can interact if you want, or you can click away. Enjoy the show. Um, sometimes I attempt to do a series, but whew, that rarely works out. My ADHD will not let me 
stay still for that long or be that consistent. But regardless of how hard I try, uh, that's just not not happening. Mm -hmm. It's not who I am. That is not what I'll ever be. Um, one day, maybe, I will figure out a format that works right for me. But for now, rambling into the microphone is doing a lot of heavy lifting. And, uh, you know, that's all I can really ask for. Uh, let's see here. Let's make a crafting table. Let's make a little pickaxe here. Iron pickaxe. I have iron pickaxe before I have any other tools. Look at that. Hello kitty. Adorable. Planting potatoes. One day I hope to have a garden. Ah, oh, it's a dream as well. I'm a, I'm a simple person. I just want I just want to be able to cook in my own kitchen, farm, a little bit of land, just enjoy peace and quiet. Why is that so much to ask for? I may never know, but um, hopefully this is the last video I ever record in this basement. It's a pretty nice basement. It's not a finished basement, but it could be a lot worse. But I, I'm, I'm tired of saying that too, you know? It could be worse, but it could be a hell of a lot better. And it's about to be. We're getting a decent, getting a decent two bedroom. Um, I think it's a one and a half bath. Yeah, one and a half bath uh, apartment. It's still rather expensive, but thankfully there's three of us. And who knows, maybe there'll be a fourth one day to help pay rent and keep us company, as we all really enjoy company. Um, I know Chris wants to get into recording videos, and he wants to do a little planet zoo uh series which i will definitely be helping him with you want some ramen or do they like berries i think they like berries oh yeah haha <laughs> perfect oh oh well, well, that's not exactly what i wanted but that is adorable. Hello there. Nom 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 nom. Um, what else is there to talk about? I've had a few ideas um, for a food truck. If I ever had the opportunity to, to, to work for myself, outside of potentially making video games. What is that noise? It might be my phone. Let's move that away. Um, although we want to work on making video games in our free time, at least learning how or attempting to. Um, one potential idea that we thought of was a food truck that goes to events in this area and eventually elsewhere considering licensing across multiple states is difficult it probably wouldn't work out but um, we were just imagining going to or going around to every furry con in the country and just how cool that would be a traveling food truck. 
This must be archaeology. I've never run into this when I want to. I don't know what else this would be. Oh, that's pretty deep. I don't have a brush. I don't know if I need it. I think I do to get um, certain cool things, like the sniffer. And that's the furnace. Apologies for the loud noises. Um, I think that's about it for this video. Just rambling about my life right now. I'm sure I missed a few things. It's been a lot. Um, just kind of catching everyone up. Explain where I've been. I think I will probably be creating a new channel um, when I do move out. And it will probably... I'll link it here. I'm not just going to disappear. Um, I might continue to do ASMR videos on occasion here, potentially. Or I'll just try to rebrand some stuff. I'm not entirely sure yet. I want to try something new for once. Because I've been doing this shit for like 12 years or more. Wow. Oh, shit. 14. God, I'm old. It just doesn't stop, does it? That clock never stops ticking. I'm fucking 26 years old. I started recording videos in this game when I was 12. That was 14 fucking years ago. And I'm still playing this goddamn game. I mean, it's good. It's a good game. It's a good game. Even though I don't really do much besides wander around these days. It's a good game. Although I do have Hell Divers and stuff, which I will be playing with Chris and Sophie. And I will be recording our shenanigans at some point. And just the wicked shit we get up to. Did I just say wicked? Oh, Chris has been infecting me. Wicked smart. Um, anyways. I think, I think that's it. I'm just gonna keep rambling. Here, piggy. <laughs> I'm riding a pig. I want to punch it so bad, but I won't. I don't have string. I can't make a carrot on a stick, so I'm just at the mercy of this piggy. Uh... I could have made a Kermit the Frog joke right there, but I think it, it writes itself. Can I have that back? No, it doesn't, it doesn't want to give it back. I don't have to take it back by force. I'm sorry, I know you didn't choose that fate. Alright. Thank you very much for watching my weird late night margarita fueled rambles about life. I will be making many interesting videos here in the future, but for now, I must say good night, and I will see you all in the next video, like 10 miles away from here, and God, I can't.